spider catch what spider keeps. Spider, spider when you pass asleep. Spider, spider when spin and spider sew. Who knows where the spider goes? Spider, 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 spider goes. Into, into yarn and make shirts to rescue her brothers from having been enchanted. And I love that story in part because it's full of handicrafts, which I'm a bit keen on, um, and in part because it's the, the girl doing the rescuing, you know? There is no spider in any version of the tale I ever read, but the song just has a spider in it, so. Um, now, this no, next one, yes? You know, this is too much fun. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's too hard to just sit here and watch. <laughs> and so on, but I'm quite into, you know, green things and sustainability and localism and so on. This one is about one of my favourite pieces of low technology. It's, uh, it's a song that celebrates my solar and wind-powered clothes dryer. Some people call it a clothesline, you know. You may have <laughs> anyway, it's an awesome bit of kit. Takes no electrics at all and gets things beautifully dry. Sometimes. <laughs> when it's not raining, you mean. <laughs> Poor Dave, we go out to the shops or something, take a wander around, and it'd be chucking it down. So this is summer in England. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Dave, this is summer. And half an hour later, blaze, blaze. So 
This is summer. <laughs> plastic and take it to the shops and bring it home from the shops and unwrap the plastic than it would be to just wash the damn spoon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a sing-along to this, so, you know, do join in if you've got your singing voices. And I hope you have got your singing voices because I think I put it on the flyer, didn't I? Did I put it on the flyer? You warned to bring that, yes. I did, I did one day. Okay. Well, this spoon is dirty, oh, what shall I do? You could wash the damn spoon. I'll make me another hole shiny and new. Oh, you could wash the damn spoon. Ping. Wash the damn spoon. Wash the damn spoon. Oh, you could wash the damn spoon. Oh, this is lovely. So many of you have heard it before. Fantastic. I'll dig me a well that goes all the way down. Oh, just wash the damn spoon. Oh, just wash the dance 
Dave Clement. Um, now, it's lovely to see some knitting going on here. And he, she knows what to do. Paula's been yes. to my gift before. So, and I know Emma at the back there not only knits, but also spins and indeed breeds Cotswold sheep. Talk to her about all your Cotswold sheep needs. <laughs> so, <laughs> any other knitters out there, Alfie's going to feel really left out. Oh, he should have brought him. He's water trained. <laughs> which I'm not this time. <laughs> Usually it's female hands that go up, but not exclusively. Don't. He's smirking, he's Because, <laughs> you know, there are guys who knit too, and quite right too. Lots of guys, lots of guys who are designers. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> so there is this fiction that knitting is largely a, a, a female occupation, but you know what goes yeah. on, don't you? We know how it is. This is how it is, really. Yeah, you've been rumbled. So, once again, a bit of joining in. I'm just warming up their voices down for you, okay? So, this is a sing-along, and it's full of knitting. When the leaves are 